Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on saving paper, trees, and ink using GreenPrint. Now, once you've downloaded and installed GreenPrint, and I've provided links for that in the show notes, you'll see that GreenPrint installs itself as your printer. And then this way, it acts as an interface between you and your printer to save you ink, paper, money, and lots of trees. So, the best way is to show you. So let's say there's something right here at the top of the butterscotch.com page that I want to print. So I click File, Print. Now you can see here it shows that Green Print is my printer, and that's OK. It's a good thing. We'll click OK, and now Green Print is analyzing the page I asked to print. Now you can see that Green Print has finished analyzing the page, and it actually turns out that the page I wanted to print is three pages. You can see here, and I know we've all had one of these, the classic page that has a little bit of printing at the very top, and that's it. I get those a lot when you're doing airline reservations. You print something out, and there's a little tiny line at the top, and that's it, and it's a wasted sheet of paper. With green print, we'll go over here. You can right-click, and you can say, Remove the page, and it turns a different color. By the same token, you can include a page. Now say there's a page where you really like the text, but it's got a lot of graphics in it. You can say, remove the images, and all you get is the text. By the same token, though, what if there's a page where there's a lot of images you'd like to have printed out, but you don't want the text? You can tell green print to remove the text. The long and the short of it is that you're saving paper, you're saving trees, and you're saving ink, and you're saving money. And all with green print, and that's all there is to it.